Hello there, welcome to <clears throat> welcome to MTV Cribs. Uh my name is my name is uh <laughs> my name is uh what is my name? I forgot my name, that's how popular I am. I'm so popular I forget my name sometimes because I just don't hear it enough because I'm just so popular. Uh, sometimes I just don't like to hear it so much, you know, because it's like, uh, you know what? I heard a song today by uh, Beyonce that was like, sometimes I feel like my life is Grand Central Station. And uh, when I say my life, you know, I mean parts of my life. And when I say parts of my life, I mean parts of my body sometimes feel like Grand Central Station. And when I say Grand Central Station, I mean, you know what? Park and ride a little bit sometimes. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, my name is, uh, what was my name? I came up with my name just a minute ago. I already forgot what my name was going to be, but, uh, oh God, I just had the perfect name I have ever thought of. And I just can't, this fucking music, I gotta turn this shit down. I can't think of this motherfucking rap fucking shit. Um, speaking of rap shit, you know, <laughs> I had a little love affair with a certain rapper for a second. Yeah, his name was, uh, Drake, Druk, Drake, Druk, Drake. Oh, Drake. Yeah, that's his name was Drake. I forgot already what his name was because I'm so popular that I forgot what his name was. And because uh, I still can't remember my name, obviously. And you know what? This light needs to be on. Gosh darn it. I just keep forgetting to put that light on because I'm so popular. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can uh, do something here without cracking myself up for a minute, you know, because... Uh, and I would like to let you know that I have not... I have not, this is me, sober. This is me completely sober. <laughs> and uh, hopefully the sound is coming through because, you know, if I have to do this all over again, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Cause that is my problem with technology. I don't know what the fuck's going on sometimes. I can sit here me talking to myself for 20 minutes and I have no fucking clue that the camera's not even on or the microphone is not even on. And then I just have a fucking fit. Because that's usually when the best shit comes out, is when nobody is watching. And when I say nobody is watching, I mean the fucking camera, because the camera is basically you watching, you know, or me just talking to myself for an hour, which is basically just me having a good time on a normal night anyway. So I don't know what the fuck is the difference and why am I complaining, you know? <laughs> uh, so anyway, what is my name? Ah, God, I had the most perfect name. Uh, it will come to me. It will cover me at the most inopportune moment, which is usually the most best moment, honestly. And so here I am. Welcome to MTV Cribs, by the way. Uh, MTV Cribs, and I just wanted to show you my crib today because, you know, I, uh, I uh, treated myself to a bougie hotel room this time, and uh, I got to tell you that uh, I like it a lot, okay? <laughs> uh, usually I'm the rough, kind of roughing it type of person, which means, you know, I'm in here in a bougie hotel room and look at my nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. How's that for bougie for you? I've got plastic bags hanging everywhere. <laughs> How's that for bougie? I'm so used to camping and hanging it out, you know, that I'd uh, <laughs> check out my view. Isn't that beautiful? And just behind the curtain, That's right, a homemade clothesline. I'll have you tell you that I wash my own laundry in my bathroom sink. Okay. <laughs> How's that for bougie for you? You know what? It is so hard being so popular sometimes. You just can't find enough help because I've already got all the help helping me on other things that are like, I need more help. And so I was like, I've already got people helping me on so many things. I have to do my own laundry for God's sake. I've already hired all the help for doing other things more importantly, like... You know, other more important things that uh, I was like, you know what, I'll give them a break tonight and I'll hang my own laundry. Mm -hmm. I'll hang my own laundry here. Okay, look at that. How is that? Okay, how is that? <laughs> uh, so, yes, and um, I am now on my iPhone SE. Yes, I am on my iPhone Red iPhone Red SE. Well, you can't see it, obviously, because it would be like trying to look into your own eyeball. <laughs> but uh, there is, I guess that's it. But that's the that's the other side of the camera. You can't see the backside. See, uh, God damn it. I can't show you the backside because it's obviously on the backside of the camera, which you can't look at the camera from the view of the camera. So, God damn it. It's like look, trying to look at the, it's trying to like look at your own eyeball. What the fuck am I doing here? Oh, it's just God damn it. So I'm on my iPhone SE right now because you know what? Check out this MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs, here's the slow motion. 
Oh yeah, look at that, people. I have four phones, three down here and one right here in my hand. You know why? Because I am so popular. I need four phones to catch up with everything all the time. You know, sometimes I've got one phone in one hand, one phone in the other hand. And usually two at Apple tech support at the Genius Bar getting, you know, waiting in line to get worked on. Cause I can't, I don't know how to use this fucking shit and they're always full, God damn it. And I don't know how to get the fucking pictures off of the phone into my laptop. What is wrong with me, people? I'm going to spend the rest of the night. That's right. Because I've given all my staff the rest of the night off, I'm going to spend the rest of the night trying to figure out how to get my pictures and my camera and my uh, videos off of my other phone because I have some really good stuff here. And uh, anywho, and I've got a laptop over there that has, it's only three months old and it's already been in and out of the Genius Bar about three times already. Because that's my life. I am spending my entire life going through information technology and having temper tantrums about a certain person or two who seem to be constantly hacking into my bullshit, my shit. Yeah. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Uh, and so, yes, I'm going to sit here, yes, in my chair. Uh, yes. Uh, do you like my robe? Yes, I bought it at an adult bookstore in San Diego. Yes, during one of those, uh, whatever you want to fucking call them. I don't know what they fucking were about it. If anyone's about to said about me cussing, well, fuck you. You know why? Because that's right. You don't know what I've been through. And this is what I've got to do to cope with my pain and suffering. And uh, yes, I wholly hope this motherfucking microphone is working because if it's not, I'm going to have a motherfucking fit. And uh, welcome to MTV Crips. It's getting a little warm in here. And you know what? I need to turn the thermostat down just a little bit. And... Um, one of these things about I love about my new MTV Cribs is I love how, look at this, look at that. Okay, there we got. Can you see that? Hey, look, you can turn the temperature up one half of a percent at the time. Now, how MTV Cribs is that? Okay, so I am just feeling, I don't feel like 21 degrees right now. I feel like 19 and, oh. I feel like 20 and a half, that's going down, yes, because uh, 20 and a half is down from 21, and oh look, then it's 20 degrees, and now we are at 19 points. Oh, it goes down by 0.4, it goes down by 4 tenths of a degree. How MTV Cribs is that, and look at this, I'm going down to, but what? Only 19.6, so we're going down to 19.6. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit, man. What if I want to just feel like, like 19 degrees? Anyway, I can go down just a half a percent of a degree if I want to feel just, you know, just kind of like if I just want to take this off and not be too hot, I can just be just a little cooler. Oh, look at that. The, the air is already coming out. There's the vent. How is that for architectural design up there? Let me move my hand this way so you can see. That is architectural design right there. MTV Cribs, look at that. And... um I want to show you my buffet bar because, uh, yes, when I am traveling, I just love a good buffet. And this, this motherfucking rap music, I'll turn this shit down. Anyway, <laughs> no, actually, I'm just kidding because I love rap music. Actually, you know what? That's one of my new genres, my new flavors of rap music. And I got to say, ever since I uh, had a little love affair with a love affair, it was a love affair. I just love a flare on a Tuesday night, you know, especially when you got a flat tire and you need some just emergency lights just to make sure that the cars don't run you over. Yeah, I love a flare. I just love a flare. And uh, I did have a love affair in my mental capacity, which is not saying a whole lot for what. Um, oh, look at that. I wonder what time it is. You know, sometimes I am so popular. I just don't even know what time it is because. Uh, I don't know what city I am, honestly. And uh, look, they're both on the same exact wrong time. <laughs> Is that the story of my life or what? So, you know, I sometimes I say, you know what? I'm never there when you call, but I'm always on time. And uh, you know what? And if I'm late, I'm late, okay? I just happen to be late. I honestly have not been to bed earlier than three in the morning in the last 12 days or so in the country that I've been in and I can honestly say that it has not been to do to anything except for being in the wrong time zone and which is basically my life anyway and uh, so if I could just get one of these clocks to just get back on the right time and uh, I will say that I got this watch right here that one uh, it's all the way from London. You know, London is in the UK the United Kingdom for those of you who don't know what the UK is and um, uh, 
Yes, it's so fancy. And just because I said it, it was from the UK, it means it's worth a lot of money. And so is this pinky ring. This one is from Cadiz, Spain. Uh -huh, I got this from a gypsy on the side of the road. I was like, hey, mister. And he was like, hola, que tal, como estas? Would you like to buy a ring? And he didn't say it in Spanish. He did say it in Spanish, actually. And I was like, you know what? I would like to look at your rings. And, uh, you know, and by rings, I actually meant rings, you know, not uh, that go on your finger, you know. Because uh, I have um, I have not been able to hold on to the other types of rings because, you know, you always go to a party and everybody's like, here, do you have a ring that I can borrow? And uh, and I was like, sure, this one looks like about uh, 30 centimeters, which is like a good size. OK. Uh, and so, you know what? Um, anyway, I was going to show you my buffet bar right here. You know, we've got some. Um, We've got some cherries and we got some grapes and I'm sorry, some uh, blueberries and look at those, look at those just beautiful kumquats. I just love a good kumquat on a Wednesday night. If you know what I'm talking about, you know when I, you know, you know when I say kumquats, you know I did some squats today in the, in the gym and you know what this ass has not worked out on my legs in a long time because I hurt my back. You know the L4, L5. And you know, it's funny that it was the L4, L fight because, uh, you know, exactly the L4, L fight, you know, because I've been fighting a lot lately. And I said I would all for love, I would all for fight. And I was like, motherfucking shit, now I'm fighting to keep that motherfucking love story out of my bullshit, you know? Because, you know, I have, I have believed some really stupid things lately. I, was, I fell in love with the rapper Drake, for God's sake. I was... I went to motherfucking LA and I went to a, <laughs> I was walking down Melrose and I almost bought four fucking thousand dollars worth of dresses for God's sake. I literally, you know what? I shaved this mustache. Why am I looking over here? The camera is over there. I cannot remember it, guys. This is not, this is just a white dot on the screen. Uh, I went to LA one time and I, <laughs> speaking of crazy stories, you know, all this shit's going to start coming out and I am so bored right now. I have no fucking friends anymore. So this is what I do. I travel alone right now. Actually, I'm, so this, I'm on rehab right now. I am on travel rehab. Welcome to MTV Cribs travel rehab version. And I swear I have not done any drugs today. I have not done any drugs today, except I had one beer. I had one beer. That's it. There's the camera over here again. I had one beer. I had one beer. Maybe if I just pull the camera out just a little bit, everybody could just see the MTV Cribs house. And you know what? Maybe I'll just get on this bed for a second because this is my MTV Cribs bed. This is my MTV Cribs bougie bed. Oh, I just love a good bougie bed on a Tuesday night. Did I say it's Tuesday or is it Wednesday? Uh-oh, I think I said it's Wednesday. <laughs> What you know what that means? Uh -huh, it's hump day. So yes, I did turn on grinder and I did turn on scrub. And you know what? Motherfuckers, you better stay the fuck out of my information technology because you, if you ruin any of my motherfucking hookups tonight, I'm going to fucking... Oh, God. Sometimes you make me fucking pissed. Oh, sorry. I just had a trigger. That one was kind of a... You know, that was that was a manufactured trigger. I will tell you. That was a trigger that was manufactured. I did that for fun because you know what? I am a forgiving person. I am such a motherfucking forgiving person that I just made a joke about myself. I joke about myself all the fucking time in the ways that some people made some motherfucking jokes about me that were actually so fucking cruel. <laughs> they were so fucking cruel. They had me in motherfucking tears, you know? <laughs> and yesterday I was in tears. So I'm going to get serious here for a second because sometimes people don't know if I'm joking or if I'm serious, but... I did have a real serious moment yesterday talking to my girlfriend, um, my best friend in the world. And I've been, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually been yelling at her quite a bit. And I hate yelling at her, but she's like so fucking patient. She stays on the phone with me. <laughs> she's so patient. She stays on the phone with me and lets me yell at her. <laughs> Sometimes this bullshit does trigger stuff. And I know everybody, everybody thinks it's all about the fucking drugs, but it's not. <laughs> so, 
just <laughs> some people played some really cruel jokes on me and it's all right because it's if I wasn't a drug addict, right, I wouldn't have been in those situations, but <laughs> and I, if I wasn't a drug addict, I probably I wouldn't have put myself in those places. <laughs> but some people to take advantage of them and they delayed some really stupid, cruel jokes on me and it's okay because I guess it's like I can handle the jokes, right? They're just stupid jokes. <laughs> I guess the worst part is that I, some of them I thought were my friends and some of them really did really mean things to me that I had never thought a friend would do. <laughs> and it's not even even that. It's not even that. It's just that I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't even know that's, that's how crazy the drug is sometimes because it made me believe things <laughs> that I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know we're there, but people at the very beginning said, oh, you're just fucking delusional, Dave. You're just so delusional. Just stop thinking that these things are there. And I was like, I have proof. Here's my camera. I have proof. This thing was there. You can't tell me that it wasn't there. This was like several years ago. This is actually when all this bullshit started. And then, uh, you know, for some time, it was like, it was, it was really stupid shit. It was like stuff that any meth addict would go through. Like, <laughs> there's a blinking light down there. There's a blinking light down there. <laughs> Look, there's actually a blinking light. <laughs> uh, can you see it? Where is it? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's, so there's a blinking light down there. So... That's this is just an example, but there's actually a blinking light down there. But like several years ago, there'd be things that would happen and be like, there's something happening and it happens all the time right there or right there or this and that. It's like I would take my camera home to my roommate <laughs> at the time and I'd be like, Tim, <laughs> look at this phone. <laughs> is there a squirrel on my shoulder right now? Like just chirping at me for the last 10 minutes. And he's like fuck yeah david what the hell what where were you like there's a squirrel on your shoulder talking to you and, uh, and so I'm, I'm exaggerating just a little bit to be absurd but i'd be there would be times when i'd be doing something out in nature <laughs> and like there would be something happening i'm like what the frick like i know that i'm wasted off my balls right now but this thing is happening and it happened yesterday and it happened the day before and it's like i'm uh, and then it, it evolved into certain things um that were obviously like man-made or um things that were uh you know obviously people were online harassing me or something or you know tricking me and you know some things were actually really um aggressive and some things were uh jokes and some things were trying to like help me and i think that some things were actually trying to hurt me it's a, it's a combination of all of it and then um <clears throat> I don't want to go all the way into this. Uh, maybe I should right now, but I don't even know how much memory I have on this camera right now. Um, but anyway, I was just triggered right there. By, and this is why I'm going into it is because I'm joking. I'm playing and I'm coping with instead of coping with. Um, so <laughs> I was coping with my life and some previous things that I've, you know, I've been through so much fucking therapy and I've been through so many AA meetings and I've been through so many bullshit things and I do my crystals and my meditation. I mirror my Palo Santo. Oh, speaking of Palo Santo, um, let's just start over here with a little Palo Santo here. We're going to get into the mood. Yes, we're going to get real serious here. Welcome to MTV Cribs, by the way. So right here. There you go. You may have heard, you may have, you know what? You didn't. You probably didn't, but you may have. And you know what? I'm not going to say anything because it's in. Holy shit. I'm on fucking fire over here. Oh, God. It's, what the hell's going on over here? What the. Jesus Christ. I got to. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, just kidding. Just kidding. That was for drama's sake, you know, because we got to save some drama for your mama, you know, because if there's not enough drama, everybody's not that excited, you know, and we're not going to save the drama so nobody's going to put any tadpoles and fish up my ass anymore you motherfucker i'm gonna fucking kill you, motherfucker for putting this fish in my ass and you... there was one you know what just we're just gonna pause right there and anyway you know is this fucking rap music still going over here can you hear that god damn it um 
so yeah, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna sit here and get serious for a second. You know, I am gonna get serious here for just a second real quick because um, I did say that uh, I was triggered and right now I was just, I just made another fucking joke. I just joked about myself one more fucking time and there were people that were calling me Two-Face. Well, I am Two-Face, you know why? Because there's a serious me. There's like five faces, there's a serious me and there's the me that is like, I make fun of myself all the fucking time and I told people, don't need to even dare try to make fun of me. You know why? Because you cannot make fun of me as good as I can make fun of me. I can make fun of me and spin fucking circles around you. And if you're going <laughs> to, you better do it in a very sophisticated, intelligent way. And everybody's doing it in such an annoying way. Anyway, there was some things that really did trigger me. Um, my drug addiction eventually became not even about the drugs. Um... It became about other things. Um, the drugs were to cope with some previous things. I said I've been through therapy and everything else. And there is no stone unturned. I have literally un overturned and turned over every fucking stone in my life. There is nothing left. I have I have meditated until I have turned inside out and upside down and gone into outer space and whatever. And that's not on any drugs. That's just normal. Like I, I can make my pineal gland, pineal gland. It's called the pineal gland, not the pineal gland. God damn it. Uh, the pineal, the pineal, the pineal gland. <laughs> I can do some crazy things with my pineal gland. I can do things with it. I can see my pineal, my, I don't even know what the fuck it's called anymore. The pineal gland. I can, I can make the, my pineal gland actually do backflips, literally. Which is kind of crazy. I can do things with it just with, uh, some incense and some breath work and, um, some I work with uh, some quartz crystals and I can do things with it that <laughs> I can do things with a quartz crystal. I just never knew what you could do. And so anyway, um, I joke a lot, but I'm a very serious person. I'm very deep and I actually love that about myself now that I can sit here and joke about it because I am very deep in the going a little bit joking about things. Just taking the takes the seriousness off of somebody who always seems very serious to people and um so when I am myself home alone, and even I, I whenever with my friend Rachel, my best friends, like they get super silly and not anyway. Why am I talking about that part? Oh, because I just made a couple of jokes, and the person who knows, there's a one or two per persons that would know that I just made fucking jokes about things that I have been so serious about lately that I'm willing to almost file lawsuits. And I know that <laughs> everybody is shivering right at these ideas because. There is a lot of validity, validity to some things that I've been struggling with. And they're real triggers. There are real post-traumatic stress syndrome triggers. And they're not even about the drugs and about the sex because I was in a chem sex environment. They're not about even those things. They're about the way that people, some people were treating me in while I was in a very vulnerable state of mind. I know people think that I'm just some big fucking crybaby, but I say, fuck you. Fuck you if you think I'm a big fucking crybaby, you know, because I did some crazy shit, man. I did some really amazing, insane things that people sober couldn't fucking do. Literally, literally. And I don't, I, I can't even go into them right now, but I did some, and not when I say crazy shit, I mean like almost inhuman things, like alien shit. Like I did some things that the human body shouldn't be able to do like the human body can should not be able to take as many poisons as i have put in it or not only that but then while on those poisons with so little sleep literally swim laps or climb walls or do these things that and not only do them well but do them very carefully and in dangerous spots where it's like climbing walls and literally i <laughs> oh my gosh i was in buenos aires holy shit i got a story for you in buenos aires i climbed this wall and i that's gonna be a story for another time but remind me on that one um because that is a crazy story but there were things that i was being led to do and do thing and to do things and some of them were actually like i said were quite cruel i just had a moment there where i was saying i i was talking to my girlfriend last night and i i i been yelling not at her a bit at her sometimes because I'm like sometimes it feels like when she asks me questions and some other close friends and I know everybody is so f fucking afraid of me everybody is so afraid of me or a lot of people are who who know what's going on are very afraid of me and I say that I get it I, but I'm actually not there's only two people <laughs> there are only two people that I just want to take their fucking necks and strangle them literally and I'm saying that live on camera so if I they do end up strangled <laughs> 
it could have been me, honestly. <laughs> it may be me. <laughs> and so I'm letting you know that I'm coming for you, buddies. Okay. I, yeah, just, you better make sure that, uh, in, anyway, whatever. Um, so, anywho, where was I? Oh, uh, talking with my girlfriend and I was, uh, I was yelling sometimes at her. Uh, sometimes and it, I, it, I just felt a bit like I feel like a bit like I'm sometimes this kid that is got this puzzle and I've got you know a square block and I'm trying to put it into the puzzle piece you know container and I just can't get it through the round peg or the triangular shaped opening and I and I'm and it's like so simple sometimes I just can't figure some things out but the, but in the meantime I'm like figuring out things that. None of you would ever believe me what I'm going to say. And I've told just a couple of you, uh, just a brief amount of it, but nobody would ever believe anything anyway. Um, but it's some crazy, crazy, crazy. Like when I say crazy, I mean like insanely intelligent, insanely sophisticated stuff. Um, and so going back to like that flashing light, like I was telling people in the beginning, AA or other, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not, I am never, ever, ever. And when I, when I talk about these, these uh, organizations, I'm never talking about them in a way that is to discredit them at all whatsoever, because I'm a very unique person. I think, I hope, <laughs> or that I'm just like batshit crazy, which is probably that too. But, um, uh, there were things I just, that they were just told me that were, they said, you know what, these are just the normal, um, side effects of what you're doing with your life, with your body, with your chemistry, and there were some things that I said, yeah, I get that, I get that. But there were certain things that just like, I know I can't ignore the fact that, and I'm just using this as the flashing light or the squirrel or whatever, but it's like, there is something going on and I can't ignore it. I should have ignored it. And sometimes I say to myself, man, I wish I could live just this super simple life. I wish I could just be so happy with one hobby, with, you know, living in one place, never traveling, all, you know, all these things that was like, I just was born with such a fervor for wanting to explore and try and go. And it just one more step on this like outer edge of evolution of thought and mind and everything else. And, um, and I sometimes, I just, sometimes I just think it would be a much happier life if I could just be simple sometimes. And when I say simple, sometimes it's just like, why can't I just wear one watch? You know, it's like, I'm just so popular. Why can't I just not be so popular, you know? And because, you know, I'm just all about popularity. And sometimes I'm just like, why can't I just be all about one time zone, you know? Because I'm just like, always like trying to switch back and forth and tell me to jump ahead, spring. Well, I'm like, is it spring forward or fall backwards or spring backwards and fall forwards, you know? Cause that's my new philosophy in life. It's just trying to fall springward. And uh, when I say springboard, I mean, you know, like the high dive springboard, like jump and do a triple Lutz flip. And, you know, when I say flip, I mean, flip the fuck off because you know what? The middle finger is a representation of, that's right, two fingers just going like this. Peace, peace in the middle east. And I don't know if you knew, but if you turn it backwards, it means cunt. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, peace, cunt, peace, cunt, peace, cunt, peace, cunt, cunt, peace, cunt, peace, cunt. Nope, that's peace, cunt, cunt, peace, cunt, peace, peace, cunt. So, cunt, peace, peace, cunt. And uh, I was like, you know what? I just can't go today because I'm so busy being popular here in my, you know, my MTV cribs. And so, what was I talking about? I was talking about something serious. Oh, yeah. So, I was triggered a, a minute ago. <laughs> And I got to tell you, that was the first time I've ever done that on camera. Um, not cried per se, but that's weird, huh? It's, it, uh, it's interesting. And I, it, it was very authentic. And I, I, I had this idea to start something of an art project that kind of relates to actually exactly what I'm doing right now. But I just didn't know how this would roll out. And so this is funny. This is weird. And this is uh, a bit interesting. Um, but anyway, I did just have a real trigger, um, and that trigger was uh, a triggered response to some post-traumatic syndrome uh, situations that get me thinking about how um, some things, whether imagined or real, um, but imaginings are very real. And so when I say real, I mean actually occurring by the effects and the by the affects and the effects of other people. Um, manipulating my life in some way, whether it's because I let them in or because I put myself in a situation where I was and shouldn't have been. 
And uh, either way, um, I'm not gonna go into all the details on that, but that is some of what is going on in my life right now. And um, some of what I wanna actually get, whether I re release any of this stuff or not, I wanna get onto some kind of personal journal in some ways. And I got so much shit to do. I got uh, to even, even if I ever was ever gonna do anything with this, um, which is possibly a dream of mine to actually do something artistic with my life. I, I went to a, a psychic and a medium a few years ago and she said what I always knew for some time. And I think one of the reasons why I was kind of basically chewing my leg off for a while and that was, Dave, she said, you're never gonna be happy unless you're doing something artistic. And I've always known that. There's just something in me that's like itching to come, it's like aliens, like Sigourney Weaver with that alien coming out of her stomach. It's like, ah, I'm your artistic expression. And uh, it's like, that's full of babies, that's pregnant. You know, that, that dragon of art, artisticness that's birthing out of my womb, okay. Uh, is, um, oh, and that was one of the other triggers too. Never mind, I'm not gonna go into that, the information technology, but I said, it, it is Tuesday, maybe it's Wednesday, which is hump day, and you know what? I think I've been a good boy today, so. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, was that grinder? Was that woof? Did I just, oh, I'm gonna show you just real quickly. I showed you my, I showed you my buffet. I showed you my buffet, and uh, I'm just gonna show you my bathroom real quick. I just don't know how to turn the lights off in here. It's so fucking bright, but. There's my mirror, and this is my robe, and this is my, oh, look at that. Oh, look how artsy-farsy that is. Oh, Jesus, mother. Look at that. Have you ever seen something so artistic? Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> uh, just look at that. Just look at it, come on. Oh God, I'm just, I'm coming right now. I'm ha having an artistic ejaculation. I am having such an artistic ejaculation right now. Oh my God, I'm about to shoot my artistic load all over. Oh God, I think I just came.